Alafu unajua SG ndiye alisema lazima aongee. Si ni kweli? Sasa ashukuru pia SG. Asante sana. Kwanza kabisa ni kuchukua nafasi hii ni shukuru ninyi wote. Kutana hapo najua ni msimu wa mvua lakini mmejaribu. Na pia nilivyosema mwanzo ni shukuru baba kwa kutenga muda kwa nafasi ya Bungoma. Najua umekuwa na matarajio kukaa na sisi kama watu wa Bungoma mara nyingi. Bali na hivyo pia ni kushukuru sababu wakati tumekuwa na misiba Bungoma when we lose our leaders you've been sending your support. Tukianza na chama ni Wawebuye East baba alituma support. Mama kutoka Kabuchai baba alituma support. Kiongozi kutoka Bokoli Webuye West baba alituma support. Tulikuja tukiwa na msiba mwingine ambao nyinyi mnajua ilikuwa ya kitaifa ya mzee Lawrence Sifuna hata kama ni rafiki yake baba alituma pesa ya ajabu na akafanikisha hayo matanga si kwamba anakaa na watoto wetu Nairobi but ni kuonesha kwamba ana upendo na watu wa Bungoma unaweza kuwa na rafiki na msiba ukija akuhepe mwisho nitaje kitu muhimu Baba you've been very close to us. And that indicator has been to us through our sons. Kuna waluya wetu wengi umeweka Nairobi na ni wabunge. But just to pick on a few. Tuko na mtoto wetu Tim. Ulianza na yeye kama as a local leader. When I entered into politics that's where mshimo wa Tim alianza. Na akawa mwenyenyekevu sana kwako. Sa, akaja akawa mbunge, juzi alitaka kuwa governor. Lakini kwa vile anakuheshimu, ali retreat. Mtoto wa pili ni mtoto Edwin Sifuna. Huyu ni mtoto umelea ni kama kijana yako ya boma na akawa mwenyenyekevu kwa chama ukampa kiti ya SG. Si kiti kidogo. Mbali na hapo vita ilipokuwa ngumu sana ukasema watoto wote hawezi kufa. Na ukaangalia nani anaweza anguka kwa msitu na akufe. Ukachagua Edwin Sifuna. We thank you and appreciate that heshima uh, umetupea. Na pia kama Western, ukachagua deputy party leader akawa ni mzee wa heshima kwa waluya wote. Baba wetu eh, wa Paranya Mambeza. Ni mtu mwaminifu tukiwa na shida Bungoma huwa anatembea na sisi tukianza kusikia uchungu tunakimbianga kwake shida tu ye sasa si governor sasa maziwa imeanza kupotea lakini tulikuwa na nyonya nyonya kidogo through you si ni ukweli hata kura ilipokuwa ngumu ye peke yake ndiye aliniita akanipa yako kitu kidogo na nikapita ingine hiyo babu ulikuwa ananitumia lakini mara hii ulisahau it is nice ukumbuke kitu mtu amekutendea kisuri si ni ukweli Baba amelea wengi but ni wachache wanashukuru. I'm happy with this team plus na Miss and uh, Wanjala. Even up here ndai kwa bunge una nguruma vizuri. Ni heri tuwe na watu wachache but waaminifu. Kuliko kuwa na watu elfu moja, wanakuja wakati ya kura wanachukua kiti wakifika kwa bunge wanakuhepa unakosa majority. This man could be the leader of majority now. But sababu tulipeleka watu wa njaa wanabebwa na mfuko ya pesa baba na we are minority sababu ya watu wa njaa that is to say tikiti yetu pea mtu muaminifu aenda akufe na chama hata kwa bunge timu anaweza nunuliwa westlands ni more of a governor of bungoma but lakini hajanunuliwa edwin hajanunuliwa let us learn from that kitu cha pili baba when you see watoto wetu wanatembelea karibu na wewe wanamaanisha wana imani na wewe Much efforts put in Tanzania kuamsha chama. Much efforts put in Bungoma. It is now even one year Edwin ndiye alikuwa anasaidia mambo ya ofisi na siku hizi sina mahali pa cooperate office. Walifunga give more support in Bungoma Tanzania. Si sema busia na sehemu zingine ili tuwe na wabunge wengi, MCS wengi, governor wengi na senator, watu hawata kusumbua. You are not there kila saa ukikuitisha pesa. But if you empower us by giving us more support to identify candidates wenye watakufa na chama, wewe utakuwa na shida. 
if you have more members of parliament and the governors even you kora wanafanya kwa kitaifa haitaendelea but now that tuko na wakora tuliwapea ticket ukienda maandamano wao wamejificha saa hii waje wao njai wa ume ndio wajua ulikuwa unapigania ukweli mwisho mwisho miungana tukatai because you cannot be a president of this country bila kushika urafiki but miungano ingine siende paka kwa jikoni hiyo miungano ya jikoni inatufanya sisi tunakuwa disadvantaged the first assembly tulikuwa majority hapa i was even one of the leaders i have been a mayor through your hands but sasa tunakuwa disadvantaged unapata hata mtu mwenye amekuja kesho anakuambia sit down sababu tunapea ticket watu wenye wanataka kukulia kwa jina yako wakipata wanahepa so sisi kitu na kuomba as a resolution ticket ipewe mtu mwenye yako loyal iwe Nairobi iwe wapi na ndi mwachama no matter awe wanaomba viti yote Nairobi tuko na Edwin hatutaki tupotese hiyo kiti tunataka kiti ya governor hata tukikosa mtu ya kuwa huku na huko na oparanya huko na team huko na sifuna we are well represented tukiendelea hivyo kitu nitapenda niguzie ni mambo ya nomination after elections najua baba una roho safi but kuna viti vingine unapeanga watu wanakulia jina yako wakisha shiba wanahara kwako kiti ya nomination ni mara hii pea mtu mwenye yako loyal akusaidie kuusa chama hii kiti tunaenda saa hii ni kiti ya mwisho hiyo tunaenda wewe saa hii tunataka usimame ukiwa na oparanya na tutaki upoteze hata wakiiba wacha tukufe na mtu Halo? Yaani umeona oparanya amekaa karibu. Sifu na amekaa karibu na timu. Wanakuambia nini naonda iko hapa na Wanjala? Western iko wapi? If Raila could be the present today, nyinyi ndiyo mungekuwa hapo. Shida tunapata sababu kura walinitunyang'anya, mambo hayo mnaona hata kotini, wamerudi kwa mahakama, Nzoya waliwadanganya, umeona Nzoya iko. Hivi mmekauka midomo sababu wakora walichukua. Nataka nimalizie hapo. Baba sikusema jina hii watu ndio watu yangu. Mimi ndio MCA peke yake moja kwa kaunti mzima. Na ikuwa rais nilinyeshewa hata mwili nilipotoka hata siku hizi mambo ya kitanda sishughuliki. So na kuomba tu baba ni mnaishi sana hii miaka kuwa MCA naanza kuwa ngumu but nitakwambia tukiwa peke yako na Edwin na Uparanya tukiwa peke yake. Ni waombe tuchukue nafasi nirudishe program wetale ili atuendeshe kwa kipindi kinachofuatia kama nimeongea vibaya nimekukwasa unisame na kama nimeongea mzuri jiandikisha kwa chama tumpigieni tafadhali mheshimiwa balala makofi kofia kofia kofia